Have you been considering adding a chow chow to your family but are unsure on what they're really like? Well, in today's video we're going to be taking a deep dive into how the chow chow is at home and around children to see if they could be the perfect canine companion for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Chow Chow Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's start with the Chow Chow's history to see if there is a link between this and their temperament. The Chow Chow is one of the oldest breeds in existence. They were first recognised by the Kennel Club in America and the United Kingdom around the start of the 20th century, but their history dates back much further than 120 years. They originated in Asia almost 3,000 years ago. They migrated to their native China from Mongolia and Siberia and were, they were first depicted on pottery and other Chinese artefacts of the Han Dynasty dating back to approximately 206 BC. Chow Chows were most popular among Chinese nobility and soon became a favourite breed for many Chinese emperors. In fact, one was believed to have owned over 2,500 which he used as hunting dogs. The Chow Chow was bred for many reasons, including to guard both people and properties, as well as herding and guarding livestock. This shows that the Chow Chow is an extremely loyal and intelligent breed. The Chow Chow is often likened to being almost feline. They know their own mind and are quite content being near their owner. They dislike being fussed all the time and will usually approach you if they want some affection. This can make the Chow Chow harder to train than other breeds. They are not fussed at trying to please their owners, so determination and persistence is a must when training. It is important that you remain positive when training your Chow Chow, and ensure that training sessions are fun and positive. However, one area that Chow Chows will succeed in training very quickly is toilet training. This breed is known to be a clean breed. This means that they dislike to toilet in their den. As we have already said, the Chow Chow is an extremely clever breed. It is important that you channel this intelligence. If your chow chow does not receive as much physical or mental stimulation as they need, these clever canines will find other ways to entertain themselves like chewing or barking. Chow chows have unfortunately received a negative reputation as being aggressive. However, this is not correct. If you have socialised your chow chow properly and trained them in manners and obedience, then your chow chow will become a polite and well-mannered dog. Hey guys, if you want perfect puppies, like all my mates here are, and you're interested in how it is that as a professional canine behaviorist, I go about raising and training perfect puppies, I have a completely free course that I think you might be interested in called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. There'll be a link down in the description box below. It is completely free of charge and you can go and check it out right now. So I can't wait to see you over there. They may still become confrontational if they feel their family is in danger or if an intruder enters the house. This does not mean that they're an aggressive breed and should not put you off getting a chow chow. They will look to their owners for guidance when strangers are approaching them and will make it vocally clear if their owner does not want anyone to approach. However, with plenty of socialization work during puppyhood towards meeting new people will help them feel much more relaxed and at ease when out on walks. The chow chow is a quiet breed that will not tolerate harsh corrections or abuse. A verbal correction is enough when training them. They are a fiercely proud breed that are devoted to their family, but are ideally best suited to a family that has older children that already know how to look after and care for dogs. Chow Chows need a calm, consistent leader that they can look up to, as they may try to become the boss if you don't show them that you are in charge. Chow Chows are unlike many other breeds of dogs. They are a proud and independent breed. They may look like a fluffy bear with a permanent scowl on their face, but ensure you do your research before adding one to your household. They need a calm, consistent leader to help them become a calm, well-rounded canine. This can make them a difficult breed to start with for first-time dog owners. However, if you're willing to put the work into training and socialising them, then they will become a valued member of the family. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Chow Chow videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Chow Chow Show.